All right, what is up, guys? We are back with Tokyo Ghoul Chapter 22. Um, this chapter is called uh, Newspaper. I'm already very nervous because Hinami is the very first thing that we see in this chapter, so I hope nothing bad happens to her, but let's, let's see, man. Um, investigator killed. Hey, you should be working. The man in that article, he was one of the investigators, right? Did you... What if I did? Um, I'm a murderer. I won't stop till I kill them all. All of them. Being born a ghoul, uh, her outlook on the value of life must be completely different. I'm going to take some coffee to Hinami. Oh, okay. About Hinami. She doesn't seem to be feeling well. I don't think she's sleeping either. Mr. Yoshimoto said that she hasn't eaten since her mother. I'm a bit worried. She's not sleeping because you lent her that long-ass, uh, Sen whatever's book. There's only one way to cheer her up. That's why we risk our lives going to the CCG. Only one way. Getting revenge against the investigator who killed Ryoko? But will that really bring her comfort? I mean, that's that's the age-old question, right? Like, I don't, will, I mean, at the, will, what will reven revenge bring you in, in the end, right? Um, doesn't change anything. Uh, hey, Hina. Sorry, were you sleeping? Heard you haven't been eating. You have to eat. You're still growing. Yeah. It's all right. You don't have to worry about a thing. I'll take care of everything. I'll show you a much bigger world than this tiny room. So just hang in there for a little longer. Okay. God, dude, her face. I love that Toka is, like, taking on this role of, like, the big sister. And she's, like, really trying to make her feel better. But, like, Hinami's just, like, so detached, man. Like, you just see, like, the bags under her eyes. Uh, Ishida did a really good job of drawing that in. All right, including that in. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's a newspaper. The manager subscribes to a few of them. Wow, so many words. Keep it. You're studying, right? I'll teach you about the human world, and it can be kind of interesting, too. Thanks, Toka. I'll ask, uh, I'll ask Kaneki if I can come across any words that I don't know. You're not going to ask me? Fine. <laughs> okay, then. That's, that's nice to see. That's probably the first time I've seen her smile since... Uh, what happened to her mother? So that's good. That's good that she's still capable of, of, you know, being able to smile and seemingly looking happy as well. Anything? Nothing over here. Not even a trace anybody was here. The backgrounds were phony. And as expected, so was their tip. Yet this place... It's possible it was just a prank. Let's go. We're only wasting time here. No. You gentlemen go on ahead. I have something I'd still like to check out. Oh, is, is Toka going to be here? <sighs> oh my god, dude. Toka is there. Is she really going to fight the investigators by herself? I mean, that didn't go well the first time. So what is she thinking? Uh, condolences. What does that mean? Condolences. Expression of sympathy, sadness. Aw. <sighs> kind of like me. Oh, she saw, she saw the investigator in the newspaper. What was Toka thinking? I'll take care of everything. I mean... I mean, Toka... Let me go back really quick. She, she clearly saw that investigator in the newspaper, right? 
Did she? Or, or, okay, no, she didn't. It was Kaneki that was reading the paper. Oh, god damn it. This is just bad luck, man. <laughs> this is just, like, the worst kind of coincidence that could possibly happen. You know, that uh, one of the guys... Um, actually, no, I think I'm thinking about this the wrong way. Because this, this is the investigator that Toka killed. So, like... I mean, he was, he was still there. He was still present when... Um, Miss Fugoichi died so like I mean he was complicit in in you know that murder so like yeah and Hinami did see him there as well so okay yeah yeah so it would it would make sense that like Hinami would feel some type of way seeing this guy in the paper um okay <laughs> So I guess now it's it's kind of clicking in her head what Toka meant by um, she's going to take care of everything. And she's seeing that, hey, like Toka's already, you know, making making right by that promise. Right. Man, but I don't I don't like that. That sinister aura that's around Hinami right now. Um, did you lock the back door? Uh huh. It's awfully quiet upstairs. Maybe she's sleeping. I didn't get a response when I went up there today. It's a long time to be asleep. Hinami, I'm coming in. She's not there. You're kidding me, right? Kaneki. Go check the other rooms. Okay. Why? Hinami. Oh, man. I'm like, I'm terrified, man. Um, you know what? This is the first time that we're doing this. I can't promise this is going to happen all the time, but we are doing a double chapter in this video right now. So chapter 23, Disappearance. Let's just get into it. Let's let's just see, man. Uh, Toka and Kaneki are running after her. And I am terrified. <laughs> uh, move it or I'll leave you behind. Uh, oh, yeah. Please pick up. Hello, Mr. Yoshimura. Hinami's... This is tense, man. Um, Mom, and she's just wandering around. She doesn't even have like a goal or anything in mind. She's just wandering. Hinami, was it because of that newspaper? Damn it, why do I always... I don't give a, I don't give a damn about them. If you want to do it, do it alone, sister. Oh, Toka has a has a brother? Interesting. I think this is the first time that we're hearing about this, right? I don't think she's she's ever mentioned that unless unless it, it might have been in passing or something. I, I, I don't think so. Um Ayato. What's the smell? Oh no, she's screaming. Hinami! This is near uh Kashahara Elementary School. Why? For the life of me, I, I if anything happens to, to Hinami, I'm crying. And she went under the bridge. I'm assuming this is the same bridge where the investigators were, right? Um, Hinami, let's go home. No. Um, no matter where I hide, I'm going to be killed anyway. The newspaper said a man in glasses was killed by a ghoul. It was you, right? They probably think I did it. The people who killed mom are coming to kill me, so I have to keep running and running and running and running. Hina, what are you holding? I mean, it's... She is a kid at the end of the day, and I think it is a fair assumption. And again, it's, it's like Toka, by feeding into that vengeance of wanting to avenge, you know, uh, Ryoko, like... Obviously, in, 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 at the moment, right, that, that was, that's the only thing that she could think about. So she wasn't thinking about the, the everlasting kind of ripple effect that it would have on, like, the consequences and the ramifications that it would have on everybody in her life. Um, like, she wasn't, th obviously was not thinking about that in, in the moment, or at least she didn't care, right? Um, so this is this is one angle that I didn't even think about of of it actually affecting Hinami in a in a horrible way that um the the investigation the investigators would um 
probably think that it was Hinami who who killed this this investigator. I didn't even think about that. Um, so that's just another way of how you know Toka is sort of uh, wanting to avenge Miss Fugoichi, just kind of like backfired, right? Um, man, that's really sad. It's mom's hand. Whoa, where did she even get it? Why this? Why did this have to happen? Aren't ghouls allowed to live? Why? I went to the CCGs to the enemy to the enemy's lair. I talked to them directly, but. Hinami, they barely had any information on you. I told them that I knew you, but they didn't show me a uh, they, but they didn't show me a photo or a sketch of you. The only people who know your face are the four who showed up that night. Hinami. I'll protect you. I won't let them kill you, I swear, that's a promise. I don't know if ghouls are allowed to live either, but there has to be a reason we exist. Yeah. Hello? Kaneki, I found her. Really? Good, so where are you? Near Kasahara Elementary. Oh no, why did, why did her pupils go white? It has has Mato I haven't turned the page yet, but has Mato really just been hanging around here for for hours? Oh my god, Mato! What is wrong with this dude? What the hell? Uh hello, Toka, hello? I got cut off. Maybe her battery ran out. In any case, I'm glad she found Hinami. We can relax for now. Should I wait for them back at Anteku? That river near Ka Kasahara. Dude. Like, this guy is a absolute animal, dude. Like, just to have the presence of mind to just hang around in this area for, for hours. Like, good lord. <laughs> Um, I'm on my way. I'll see you there. And Amon is here as well. Kasahara. Oh, Kaneki's got the mask. Let's see what he does, man. Oh my god, dude. Look at Kaneki. I don't want to go through the same thing I did with Ryoko. Who are you? Dude, are we really about to see Kaneki versus Amon? What the hell? Dude, this is this is dope. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Let's do chapter 24 as well. You guys are lucky. We're doing three chapters, man. Uh, who are you? All I have to do is buy some time. I can't let him get to Toka and Hinami. Is he a ghoul? Uh, if you swing as hard as you can, you can knock an average guy on his ass. That won't be the case if the guy has been properly trained. But if he isn't you, uh, if, but if he isn't, you can't. You can put up a decent fight by simply swinging your fist around. He's way bigger than me, but he's still a human. But he's huge. Amon is huge and he's ripped. I should be able to, huh? <laughs> And he's definitely trained as well, man. Like, this guy is the real deal. Look at the size difference, man. Like, the size difference is absolutely ridiculous. And he just already pinned down Kaneki. When you're an investigator, you tend to run into idiots pretending to be ghouls like you. That mask is so improper. Oh, he, he managed to kick uh, Amon off of him. Nice. <laughs> How stupid of me. There's no way a guy who fights like ghouls for a living is just an average guy. Uh, he'll apprehend me if I do this half-assed. I have a body, even a knife can't penetrate. I have to go all out. If I decide to do something, I have to do it all the way. I can't hold anything back. Uh, Kakugan. So, uh, you're so inept. I thought you were a human. But if you're a ghoul, I can't let you live. Alright, Kaneki. I'm kind of I'm kind of terrified for the guy, man. Like he's barely had any training, and he's going up against Amon of all people, right? 
Like, this guy is not to be messed with. And look at his cognate. Oh, my God. What? You pest. What is that? Um, oh, he actually managed to, to scrape Kaneki a little, a little bit. A cut. Oh, and now we're going right to, to Mado versus Toka. Oh my god. Uh, good to see the two of you again so soon, Fugoichi's daughter and Yamaguchi. No, that was a fake name. Perhaps I should be calling you the rabbit. I couldn't figure out why the gate didn't sound for that boy, but now I finally understand why you willingly infiltrated enemy territory, spreading false rumors to disrupt the investigation. It was such a pathetically crude plan, I doubted it at first. But then I thought it's for Fugoichi's daughter. Although the CCG doesn't have her exact location, even if it was just for a split second, we did get a look at her face. If you can get rid of us, the investigation would be greatly hindered. There certainly would be a chance she could live a relatively peaceful life like the one she had before. It makes me sick. A monster of all things wishing for a peaceful life. Oh yes, did you receive my gift? I figured you, uh, I figured you miss your mother. You fell right for it. You. And here we go, here's this Kagane. <sighs> I'm really interested to see, like, why is Mato so, so warped? Why is he like this? Why, why does he believe it? so like with every fiber of his being he's just so like 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 feet or he like feet in the sand just like so unwavering about this idea of no ghouls are monsters ghouls are monsters no matter what they're they're absolutely monsters who don't deserve to exist within this world right i wonder if we'll ever get to know why exactly he has this this point of view dude look at toko oh my god dude nice Um, impressive. You're no small fry. If you weren't destined to die today, I'm certain you would have become a troublesome ghoul like the owl was some time ago. <sighs> I'm glad I was prepared for the possibility of him showing up here. His weapon isn't suited for this kind of place. Oh, did she break it already? Huh? Wait, what the hell is happening? Oh, okay, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing, um, oh, did he have two suitcases with him? Is that what it is? No, I think he just had the one. Let me go back really quick. Um, yeah, I don't know. Wait, I think he did have two suitcases, because it looks like he, when Toka broke the first one, he just kind of, like, threw it away, and then he opened the second one, and then the second one, like, the wings, oh, wait, I think that's Miss Fugoichi's, what, that's, yeah, that's Miss Fugoichi's, uh, Kagane, right, oh my god, another one, actually, this one and his other weapon are almost like, no. Hinami. I made these in a hurry, so I had to carry them in two cases. Okay, so yeah, he did have two. Uh, well, you recognize it, don't you? It's your beloved mother. Uh, kinkes are made from the kagane's of you ghouls. Oh my god. This is so messed up, so it's like... It's literally like like Hinami's mother is going to be in the end even though she's gone it's like she's still like it's almost like a little bit of her is still really here and it's it's almost going to be like her, her mother is in the end is going to be the one hurting her right possibly even the one to kill her it's so warped man it's so twisted it's so messed up to think about 
Um, God, dude, that's it's. Oh my God, dude, I Mato is sick, man. He is fucking sick, man. Um, God, man, but that he's compelling. It makes him honestly really, really fucking compelling. I'm not gonna lie. Even though I hate his guts, he's pretty compelling. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I want to learn more about him for sure. I, I really, really do. Um, I don't know how Toka is gonna get out of this. I don't see her defeating Mato. Mato seems like the top dog to me. There's pr obviously probably going to be people who are even stronger than him because this is just the beginning of the manga. But I I don't know. This this seems like a massive roadblock for Toka to get over this early on, right? My one thing is that like. Kaneki did call Mr. Yoshimura, so maybe he can come in at some point. I don't know, man. But besides that, man, what a what a insane string of chapters, man. All three of these chapters were were pretty crazy. I don't know how often I'll do three chapters in a row like this. Probably not a lot, but like this was just like I, I couldn't stop reading, man. So yeah. Uh that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh like, comment, and subscribe for more Tokyo Ghoul. And I will see you guys for, for the next one, man. Peace.